Supermicro, much like other vendors, has a lights out integrated interface called BMC or Base Management Controller to manage its server management tasks. Supermicro's next generation platform of X13, H13, X12, H12 platform designs are built with a speed AST2600 chipset to specifically support Supermicro's BMC. As the industry continues to drive towards open standard based architectures, Supermicro is uniquely positioned to lead the market in Redfish DMTF standards. With each platform generation release, the next revision of Redfish gets implemented in Supermicro's IPMI. Supermicro offers two BMC license models for a server platform. First will license OOB license SKU SFT OOB-LIC has very limited functionality. Second license, DCMS license, activates additional features including Redfish, which is a requirement for SuperCloud Composer to operate because it exclusively relies on Redfish endpoints to parse data through SCC's intelligent agents. The DCMS license queue is SFT DCMS-single. Although a server can be managed remotely through its IKVM interface and administrators can perform server lifecycle management, additional requirements of manageability, monitoring, and control is limited just for that server. As previously mentioned in earlier videos, the ability to scale deployments of operating systems, alert management, monitoring and control of many servers within an infrastructure become vital with an enterprise management platform like SEC. Things to keep in mind, compliance and governance, guardrails implemented in SCC, automatic firmware updates, single pane of view to manage many servers across an infrastructure, alert management, visualization of rack level management, top of rack ethernet switch provisioning, manage disaggregated resources, OS deployments, RBAC of users, security compliance, telemetry analytics to make data-driven decisions, scope-based access control. These are all things to take into account before you make a decision to support your data center lifecycle management requirements.